a lawful husband. To be my lawful husband. To love and to obey. What? To love and to obey. What? Yes. To, to love, love and, and to, to obey. obey. Obey what? To to obey love. And obey who? Uh-uh. Wow. Wow. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Bro. You see, see, that's what happens when you marry a woman from another nation. And I'm not even talking about it because she's white, but you see what she, she said, huh? Who, what? See, she comes from a Roman Greco culture. She's not trying to be Hebrew. She's not trying to be a part of your, your African mm-hmm. culture. Marry who? And who, who? And some, and obey who? She said, obey who? Obey what? Obey who? Hey, what? What? Who, who are we talking about? You? Oh. You see that? I have that's, to, how, that, that's how she reacted right there. I have the, the full, uh, Vowels there. If you want to see it, I can put the full one. How long is it? It's like two minutes. No, we can, let, let's go to the next one. We can, let, maybe save it there. Let's see what we do. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> is it funny? The all two minutes? I think so. I mean, yeah. Okay, let's let's see the next one now. Let me go back. Ever submit to you? I will forever submit to you. Like. I'll forever submit to you, Miles. I'll forever respect you, Miles. Mm. I'll forever honor you, Miles, as the head of our home and no other. There is no other, there is no one, no plans of hell will ever prosper in our marriage Hallelujah. and will ever hold me not to be a wife that is a Proverbs 31 woman. Amen. I will become that woman that builds the home as I follow you, as you follow Christ. Mm. That is the only thing that we will do in our household. And I promise and I vow that in heaven they hear. <laughs> On earth I declare and decree I shall be a submissive wife unto you as we continue to do this work of God. Wow. I tell you, I'm getting chills, man. I'm like, wow. I mean, I, hey, she's making a vow and on her knees. See, this is the proper order. This is what it should look like. Unfortunately, you see it the other way around, but the men is on his knee. I mean, shh. now I wonder, I just wonder if that man decides to take on another woman, is she going to still say, not my will, your <laughs> will be done? I, don't want, I just wonder. Now, she sounds like she's African, so she probably understands that culture, but I don't know. You just never know. I just, but I love it. I love it. I love this stuff. It just made me smile. I'm getting chilled because, like, man, it, I, if women can talk like this and, and not only talk it, but live it and have the same attitude, man, it would be so beautiful. I mean, this is what an Israelite woman should be, be, be uh, aspiring to do to be that Proverbs 31 woman, to submit to that man, to follow him as he follows. Yeshua. So that, that was just beautiful. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I don't even want to see the other one because I want to end on this note. So man, I, I didn't know. See, this is a reaction. They don't tell me what you can put out there. I think we should was, play the other one just because it shows, unfortunately, okay, the West, you can see the westernization. Okay. Uh, you know. Maybe we got to play, maybe we gotta play this again so I can just feel better because I just want to well, end on a good note. So play the longer one. Let's Let's look, now look at look at and this is an African woman. Now let's look at this other one. It just happens to be a Caucasian woman from another. They're nation. both they're both technically African weddings. One yeah, with a, I know. One with, an, Ameri- one one with an American one. woman and then one with a you know. Let's play it. Woman. Play it. Play the two me. Let's play it. Before I proceed, I would like to inform you what the law does not permit any one of you to have another marriage. If I doubt we should disobey the rule, he or she has committed an offense called bigamy. Which is punishable under Nigeria law five uh-huh. years imprisonment. Yeah. You see, look at see, <laughs> see look, look, this is Nigeria, right? See, there's there's it, there's actually two types of marriage. There's legal, and they have a lot of um uh, private uh relationships, private. And now Nigeria is starting to become westernized. Where now look what you just said, bigamy, like my good, they actually even recognize uh uh, poly- uh polygamy. For Muslims in Nigeria. So this is wow. This is crazy. Play that. Run that back. Before I proceed, I would like to inform you what the Lord yes, does not permit any one of hey, Pastor said, Pastor said, send this last, I don't know which one. I think he's talking about that last clip, the, the good one. 
Pastor, we will send it. We will be sending that. I'm assuming it's the one with the woman no, I'll to my taking wife. the knee. We will send that to you, Pastor. Okay. You don't have another marriage. By that we should disobey the rule. He or she has committed an offense called bigamy, which is punishable under Nigeria law, five years imprisonment, no option of fine. Please face each other. Unveil her, please. <laughs> Before me, I have Ken the mic, Ken the list for me. Ah, and Angela, KD. We want to solemnize they are married this evening. Michael, repeat that statement. Aye. Aye. Ken the list for me. Ken the list for me, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Angela D. Angela KD. To be my lawful wife. To be my lawful wife. Forsaking all other women. Ah. Forsaking all other women. Hey. The dead do us part. The dead do us part. Hey, Amen. So no. oh there's Western, there's Western. Hey, you know what's really sick is you know, I don't want to say this, but you, you know I'm laughing, right? Because <laughs> these guys are twins. I know that's what I'm, I'm thinking like, like oh no. I don't want to hear those two together. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I, I'll be considered a cane day. So he's yeah, he's and he, so the live right law would definitely apply to oh my god, he's forsaken all, forsaken all. Oh my goodness. See, he registered his marriage. He said, he says, the pastor says, send both of them. All right, pastor. We'll, right, we'll send both. We'll take care of you, pastor. That's our shepherd, Pastor Dow, you. the man, the shepherd. All right. Uh, I'll wait till tonight. Is that it? Is that, that was all of it? No, there's more. Okay. Angela KD. Repeat that statement. Hi. Hi. Angela KD. Angela KD. Thank you. Thank you. Candy, Elisa me, Michael. Candy, Elisa me, Michael. To be my lawful husband. To be my lawful husband. To love and to obey. To what? love and to obey. What? Yeah, to love and, and to obey. Obey what? To obey love. Hey, the music stopped. The music's like, uh, what's he like? Huh? <laughs> the record scratched. This guy forsake all, but then when it's her turn, she can't even obey. Oh my goodness! I brought the, the that thing would came to an end right away. Done. Stop it right there. Stop the music. Everybody, thank you for coming. But the the, the wedding is off. You guys can't have food. It's here. Eat. Actually, shaming him in front of his family. Shaming him. Okay. I mean, this is shameful. And now you now they got them registering their marriage in Nigeria. Oh my goodness! Please, people, if anybody in Nigeria has seen this, don't do it. Don't follow the ways of the Americans. It's crazy. I repeat, I live in America. Do not do what these Westerns are doing. They're trying to destroy you. Do not register your marriage. Don't register your, don't get birth certificate. Don't get all this stuff. It's a way for them to keep you in bondage. Anyway, uh, I hope, I'm going to send this to my Nigerian family. I, I Send this, clip this part. I'm going to send this so the Nigerians can see what's going on. All right, go. Can obey who? He put his head down. <laughs> to love and other. She couldn't even say it with the open ah, mouth. She can say it. She, she, say it? The, she said it, but she didn't open her mouth. She was like, too old. Oh my God. She oh, is look, a, look, look, look. Other. She said, other. <laughs> to love and. Other. Forsaking all other men. Forsaking all other men. To death to us part. To death to us part. Amen. Uh, I pronounce the two of you as husband and wife. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ken J. Michael, in this for me, congratulations to you and your family. You got in this. Man, why you put this out here, man? You make it like hell. Hey, look at this. All the men's like, look at <laughs> yeah, I'm like his twin brother. His twin brother should come in and just smack. What the hell? Look at this guy. You see that guy? Yeah, that one looking. guy looking and said, What in the world? What did he do? <laughs> this is wow. What wow. Shame. What a shame. Oh, uh, okay, guy. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, that's tough to watch. That's that's just but that's the world. So hey, if he has any issues in his marriage and wonder why his woman is not submitted to him, just watch his video, watch your watch your wedding vows. And you you got 
See what it says. A wicked woman is a what? A portion to a wicked it's man. It's a portion to a wicked man. See, that man is wicked too. So he's going to get what he deserved because he agreed to it. He kissed. He kept his mouth shut. And it's, 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 it's a go. And she said, oh, that means she's going to be struggling. She's going to be stiff neck. Anyway. So you want me to play the good one so we can end on Yeah, the play the good one. Let's, let's end on a good Let's end on a good note. Let's okay, guys. Let's yeah, get yeah. So I, can, I want to get the chills. Let me, let me see. Let me, let me get ready. Okay, go, go. Play. Ever submit to you. I will forever submit to you. Like, I'll forever submit to you, Miles. Hmm. I'll forever respect you, Miles. I'll forever honor you, Miles, as the head of our home and no other. There is no other, there is no one, no plans of hell will ever prosper in our marriage and will ever hold me not to be a wife that is a Proverbs 31 woman. I will become that woman that builds the home as I follow you, as you follow Christ. That is the only thing that we will do in our household. And I promise and I vow that in heaven they hear. <laughs> On earth I declare and decree I shall be a submissive wife unto you as we continue to do this work of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, so kind of cool to watch this. If I was in Christianity listening to this stuff, I'll be like saying, man, I wish my woman would talk like, I wish my woman would do this. And mm -hmm. I can honestly say, I can honestly say with my two women, at least I, I, I experienced what she's saying. So yeah, she's talking now. My women don't be doing this talking. They, I just see it. I do it. They don't, matter of fact, it's less talking. Uh, and, and like, they, 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 I don't even think they say I love you or anything like that. Unless I say I love you, they say I love you back. But they rarely tell me this. They just show it to me by their obedience. See, I know they love me by, by the fact that they keep my commandments. So I hope what this woman is saying that she's not like Christian, like a typical Christian. This may be a Christian marriage. But I hope she's not like a typical Christian that she's honoring him in front of everybody with her lips, but her heart is far from him. So I can honestly say I can look at this and say, man, I know what is I know what it's like to be treated like what this woman says she's gonna do for this man. I know what it's like to be. Now, when I was in Christianity, I'd be like, <clears throat> you, you, you see that to love and to obey. Yeah, yeah. It's like the difference between a, a public and private marriage. Exactly. Legal, lawful. Exactly. So I I can honestly say I'm good. I mean, I I'm I'm at peace. I'm so thankful that I found Straightway Truth Ministry. I'm thankful that I'm, um, I'm, 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 I have covenant relationship with women who love the Most High Yah. Mm -hmm. They're striving. Doesn't mean they're perfect. Doesn't mean there's no challenges. But I'm going to tell you, a bad day in Israel is better than the greatest day that I've ever experienced being in Christianity or in the world. Do you hear what I'm saying? It is better. The worst day with a godly woman that's striving and being out there is better than the best day. You, you, the day I sign my article, the sign my big contract, the day I have my, whatever, whatever, I, whatever you, whatever I thought was good out there is pale in comparison to what I get now. To be with the brotherhood and the sisterhood, just to be, just to be a part of a community of true love. When people come in here, I don't care anybody that's come here cannot deny the peace the the love that we have for one another i don't care if they're israelites people from other communities people who from the world when they come here they say man the way you guys love one another not just one way the way i love them the way they love that man the love is like wow you can't deny it they cannot deny it they have different ways of explaining it like wow it's just so it's just so peaceful like jen you know our, our realtor what is she always she's just she's just blown away she said, can I just come and cook with the sisters? She feels so loved. And so she just feels something that she doesn't get it out there. When she goes out there, it's different. And that's how we know that we have the signs that follow them that believes. We cast out devils. We speak in you till we lay hands on the sick. We keep the commandments of God. He says, you know that you know him and you keep his commandments. And those who say they know him and keep not his commandments are a liar and the truth is not in him. The mm -hmm. same realtor that's come here to visit, she comes to see this, and she would say Christians are hypocrites. This is from a person who's not a commandment. She says that all the time. She says it all to see that Christians are hypocrites. And I've known this woman for a long, long time. 
20 years when I bought my first house in 03 and, and I was a Christian and she didn't know what to think, but she said, Christians are a hypocrite. I, I try to convince her and her man to get a marriage license. Yours truly. I try to convince her. She never got it. She never got it. Praise God. She didn't get it. Hallelujah. And I had to tell her when my woman left, I had to tell her, Hey, you were right. And I was wrong. And now she's coming back life after the world, me coming into the, into the truth was straightway. And now she's looking, she said, wow, you are mature. You are a leader. She's an older woman. She's like in her sixties, but she said, my, wow, just so much peace. And man, you, you, I don't agree with everything from me, but everything I see here is just good and loving. The children are happy. The women are happy. Everything is just good. That's just, she respects it. She says, you are actually doing what the book says to do. And Christians are hypocrites. She says, what they're hypocrites. She says with her accents. Yeah. She says that the same way this atheist says Christians are hypocrites. And she knows I have two women. And guess what she says? Hey, they're both in agreement. She's so blown away. Like, man, wow. So anyway, hallelujah. <laughs> We're good. That's hallelujah. my reaction. <laughs>